The Powerwall 3 Lockout Tagout procedure is used to isolate Powerwall from internal and external energized components, allowing for work to be performed safely on the unit. This video serves as an overview of the steps to complete the lockout tagout procedure. Read through the service manual before beginning any work for information about any safety hazards and common issues. Before beginning the de-energization process, take time to assess the system architecture. Powerwall systems can be configured differently depending on the needs of the customer, and the sources of energy can vary from site to site. Begin the de-energization process by performing a system stop in the Tesla One app. Verify that the command is received and reflected in the app before moving on. Locate the enable switch on the left side of the enclosure and turn it off. If a DC disconnect for solar is present, isolate power wall from solar energy by opening the disconnect. Place a lock and tag on the disconnect to prevent its closure. Next, isolate power wall from the home by opening the dedicated circuit breaker. Place a lockout tagout hasp on the breaker to prevent its closure. Before performing any work on power wall, the absence of voltage must be verified. Remove the front panel from the unit by unscrewing the six T20 screws on the perimeter. Don a pair of Class Zero electrical gloves and leather protectors to check the unit for dead. Set a multimeter to measure AC voltage and verify its operation with a known AC source. Test AC voltage by inserting the multimeter probe into the spring terminals. Check the phase-to-phase, phase-to-neutral, and phase-to-ground on all conductors. Next, set the multimeter to measure DC voltage and verify its operation with a known DC source. Test the DC voltage of the solar input by inserting the multimeter probes into the spring terminal. Test between positive and negative of each string, and test between each terminal and ground. If any measurement reads greater than 5 volts, do not proceed. First determine the source of the voltage, remove it, and check the unit again. After all measurements have been verified, check the meter again on the known live source to ensure it is still operational. The procedure to de-energize Powerwall 3 and perform lockout-tagout is now complete.